Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well. Thank you all for joining us. Please, if you are a new person on YouTube like I am, welcome. Please subscribe, like, share. And thank you. Well, today what have I got? I'm going to be making chocolate chips cookie. Very simple. Very, very simple. And all the things you need are butter, which I'm using stock. plain flour with the plain flour I've got 250 mils of plain flour and I've got my cornstarch I've got my cornstarch which I'm going to use half a cup for that and that's all you need for our chocolate chip cookie and of course I've got my chocolate here that I'm going to use so let's start all you're going to be doing is to first take your margarine which I've used half a cup which is 250 ml and I've added 85 mils of sugar into it and all I've done is to beat it. So all you are doing is to beat it the butter or the margarine until it becomes soft like I have done Just beat it. If you have the machine Use it. If you don't have it, just use your hand. It works the same and I've been, like I've been telling you guys, I don't know, for some strange reason, <laughs> I'm using man, I'm liking using manpower for the machine of pack it somehow. So as you can see, it's very soft and that's the consistency that you want. So right now, I've got my plain flour, which is 250 ml, one cup. going to add another half a cup or oh, another 250 mils of I've added another 250 mils so now what I'm going to add to it next is my, my cornstarch here which is 85 85 mils and so you mix everything together you mix just take your time it will form just you mix everything together all right guys so as you can see it's very soft with all the flour i've added so i'm going to add Just another 85 mils of plain flour. All right, guys. So I've added another 80 mils, 85 mils. So in all, with the plain flour, I've got 585 mils of plain flour in here. And with the cornstarch, I've only used 85 mils. All right, guys. So all you do is to mix everything together. everything together so with this though I'm going to divide it I'm gonna use half to add the chocolate chips cookie inside and the other half I will make it plain so I'm gonna divide it and then add my chocolate chip cookie into one of them then I'll show you all right guys so I've put in about 100 mils 
of chocolate chip cookie the brown one that I've put in here so I've mixed everything now and this is how it looks so with my hands washed all I'm going to do now is to put the cookie dough on parchment paper Alright guys, so all basically I've done is to put the dough, the cookie dough, on parchment paper, like that. Let me bring it down so you guys can see. This is it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do... To get one more of the parchment paper and I'll show you what I'm gonna do all right guys so I'm using the rolling pin just to roll on the cookie dough as I want to try and flatten it so this is it that's all I'm doing. And when that is done, I'll put the dough in the fridge for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, and then take it out. So, it doesn't matter what shape you've got because you're going to cut the those or the cookies so this is what the form that I have got so I'm going to put this now in the freeze and then we'll do the dough without the cookies all right so guys the cookies without the okay, chip again I'm doing the same thing to it I'm doing the same thing to it so I'm just rolling it so I'll roll it and show you guys how it looks so this is what I've done I've flattened it with a parchment paper and again I'm gonna put this in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll cut it in any shapes that we want hi right, guys so I've got the cookie dough the one with the chocolate out from the fridge and I'm going to cut it. Unfortunately, when I put it in the fridge, it divided itself for some really strange reason. So in, at this point, you cut it any shape that you want. So, uh oh, it's very delicate. Uh oh. Oh, uh, why is chocolate everywhere? guys so you know basically what i've done is just i've divided it in any shape that i want so you can also divide it in the shape that you want basically the reason why i put it on the um, parchment paper you see so after that you don't need to put another one on the tray you just put the whole thing in there so i'm going to bake this for about 15 to 20 minutes and when it's done I'll show you. While that is going on, I will do the cookie without the chocolate. Alright guys, so with this one, I've got again the cookie dough cutter. Just to shape it in any shape that you want.
Itina mele ya, mamili ye nanka Uf, abedim pox